Welcome to Peter and Ruffy's Football Show here on STV2. The main talking points on tonight's programme. Alex McLeish has had no contact from Rangers as bookies suspend betting on the former Ibrox boss. Celtic win the League Cup but the Motherwell manager Stephen Robinson is not happy with the referee. Aberdeen closed the gap on Celtic with a win over Kilmarnock. Just a few of the talking points. Alan Ruff will be discussing with me, Peter Martin, and our book room guest on this Monday evening, as ever, is Gordon Smith. So before we get into the meat and bones of it all, let's have a look at the back pages of the morning papers. First of all, uh, the Daily Record, which goes with the headline, Poison Pen. This is, of course, the debate over was it a penalty or was it not in the League Cup final for Scott Sinclair and uh, eventually Cedric Kipri getting the red card sent off for the tug on Sinclair. We'll debate that shortly. And the Sun has four in a row as uh, Brendan Rodgers secures his fourth consecutive trophy, uh, equaling the achievements of Jock Steen and well hell, I'd rather have lost 7-0 than like that, says the Motherwell boss Stephen Robinson. And finally the Mail. What a howler, the decision that ruined the cup final as Motherwell rage over the penalty. So... That's just the headlines uh, from the morning papers and the images uh, centre on the penalty that was awarded by the referee, Craig Thompson. So in the end, let's uh, first of all highlight the fact that Ruffy Celtic won it by two goals to nil. And uh, Brendan Rodgers again leading this team to um, another game, another victory, undefeated, 65 now, uh, his fourth consecutive trophy. Um, but all the debate seems to be raging over uh, the penalty mm -hmm. after Celtic had taken the lead through James Forrest. So let's cut to the chase. Was it a penalty? I don't think it was a penalty. I thought it was a very soft penalty. Uh, and reading what uh, Sinclair's saying in the papers this morning, his exact words were he thought he had a tug in his jersey. You know, To me, it's a typical striker. He's in the box, he uses it to his advantage and he goes down and he makes the referee make a decision. And I thought it was the wrong decision. I thought it was very, very soft. So you think he tried to con the ref? Yeah, I think so. But I mean, it's not just him. I mean, every striker in every league, you know, if they're in the box and they feel as if they've got a wee bit of contact, they think they have the right to go down. Uh, I don't think they have, but it's a, it's a horrible one for the referee to make a decision because that's what he's doing. He's making the ref make a decision and in such a high profile game you don't like to see things like that happen yeah here's what uh, managers and players thought of that key moment in the game you know I look at it and I think it's a penalty you know I think of him um, if you Craig it's a great ball and, and Scotty makes the run and is getting there and obviously the, the defender cannot get there and so he impedes him he pulls him so I think it's a penalty I'm not sure what the rules are now, so I'm not sure whether it's a sending off. I think he probably, I'm sure Stephen will feel a bit harsh way with it being a sending off, but I'm not sure what the ruling is on it. But I definitely thought it was a penalty. Obvious for everyone to see, it, it kills the game. It's, it's so disheartening, you know, we've put so much so much into this run to get to the final. And, and we even when we went 1-0 down, there was still that belief. But when you go 2-0 you go down and you go down, it, he sends him off as well. You're, you've no, like it's just, as I said, it's hard enough playing against these with a full... 11 players, you know, it's, it's, it kills the game for us, the decision there. Yeah. He, he, I felt a tug on my arm and I, I went down. They, they, they're pretty aggrieved about that. Do you think it's a bit harsh on you? Um, well, that's what I felt in the game. I felt uh, the, the defender pull my arm and, and, and I went down for it. It completely changes the game. You know, Louis had an a unbelievable save from Craig just before that. Um, Tierney catches Louis as we're going into the box. He's 1v1 ready to finish. No penalty. Um, and obviously the decision completely changes the game. Make no mistake, listen, congratulations to Celtic, they're a top, top football team, we all acknowledge that. But um, it's hard to take in that manner. I'd rather have got pumped 6-7-0 by them. But um, when the game's affected by, by that decision, and it certainly was, I don't think there's anybody in the room would argue about it, the game's over, you know, because they're hard enough to play against with 11 men. OK, Gordon, um, I've had a look at it several times. You know, you, you look at it from every angle. Um, and then listening to Scott Sinclair, I, I thought it was a soft penalty. Um, I don't think Kipri should have given the referee the decision to make by putting his arm across him. 
Uh, and I also thought Motherwell should have had a penalty uh, as well. And Louis Mo, what did you make of it when you've watched it from the different angles? I think I think yeah, Motherwell had a, a good shout for a penalty. I think that yeah, I'd agree with that. There's two points about this: the penalty that the Celtic were given. Uh, Kipri was wrong in putting his arm out anyway, making contact. But I can't understand how Sinclair can suddenly can say, "Oh, I felt a, a touch, so I, I went down." Even more or less saying it wasn't the, the, the touch, the pull on his arm, or the touch on his arm, which only looked like a touch was enough to put him down and that has to be the case in order for it to be given it has to be you know and if it's not if you're not going down with the contact that's made then it's simulation and therefore it's not a penalty and i think that that, that should be the case the player was wrong to put his arm out but if he play, if he doesn't go down he maybe doesn't get the penalty so he feels it's the right thing and i do i've heard people saying as peter as well people who have been in the game and all that saying oh he's every right to go down if there's contact i don't yeah. agree with that I think the contact has to justify you going down and you go down because of the contact. You don't just think, oh, if I'm touched, I'm, I'm able to go down in the box and, and, and receive something from it. So I think in that case, both players got it wrong uh, keep, in terms of what Keeper did, but I, it wasn't enough, I don't think, to be judged as a penalty. Yeah, I, I thought Motherwell, you know, were brave the way they played in the first half, uh, Ruffy. It wasn't, there wasn't a lot of uh, things to talk about in the first half, but their game was all about trying to mm -hmm. make sure Celtic didn't get the goal. They didn't get it. Um, I think some of it will be lost in the fact that James Forrest scored a wonderful goal for yeah. Celtic. Sometimes that aspect of it gets lost mm -hmm. in this whole debate about uh, one incident. Yeah, you know, I think uh, what we saw at the weekend is what we've been seeing all year. You know, Celtic in complete control, you know, of, of the game, you know. And, and the good thing about it was Motherwell turned up. I thought they put in a good shift, you know. But I, I said on Friday night, I always thought Motherwell had to strike first. I, I thought I always thought Motherwell had to put some kind of pressure on Celtic, obviously coming off of the the, the result in midweek and then looking for a reaction from them. You know their heads might have went down a wee bit. You know, but as we've seen throughout the the season, Celtic just bounce back and, and they bounce back because they have people that are on the bench that are better than all the other teams and. Uh, and that's what happened. Yeah, and I can I can appreciate what the Motherwell manager's saying there. I think I'd be gutted as well because it won nothing. You're always in the game. It doesn't matter whether you're no control in the game or not. You know, if you you're always going to get a chance, and that just took it away from them. I think yeah. what I'd say was uh, James Forrest has come onto a game. Peter, I think of late, he's, I think he's been outstanding. I thought his goal was absolutely superb. Won a great cup final goal. It'll be, it'll be remembered for that. Uh, he also caused Motherwell a lot of problems with his pace. He's running with the ball just now. I think he's he's come back again. He, 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 I felt he drifted away. Patrick Roberts had more or less taken over from him. He was getting brought on as a sub for Roberts, and it's changed now. Forrest looks like the starting player there, and Roberts yeah. is having to wait his turn to get a game. Uh, just a couple of other incidents that I, th I feel are worthy of mention here, guys. Um, I thought you know the tackle from Kipri beforehand on Dembele. Mm -hmm. Uh, was yellow minimum, possibly bordering red, and I thought Dembele's challenge on Carol McHugh mm -hmm. was a was a studs up one as well, Ruffy. Yeah, I think Dembele was just a reaction. You know, the tackle had went before. You know, he was just looking to have a, a wee kick at somebody. But unfortunately, it was the wrong person. You're right. The two of them are very, very hard tackles. But as I said, the the referees in a cup final. You know, if you ask them. I don't think he would want to send anybody off in a cup final. You don't want to be remembered as a referee who's sent three players off. So. I thought it was harsh sending him off as well. Yeah, I, I thought, yeah, yeah, I thought so as well. So you know, I, th I think it, that just shows you how hard it is. It's a good goal scoring opportunity taken away from something he has to do that because yeah. that that is the regulations. You know what I mean? But I wondered whether even the ball would have run through. I don't know whether Sinclair would have caught it or not. Yeah. He I might think have. He, I think the, the, the general feeling in the rules on this, and even Brendan Rodgers said he wasn't too sure on it, is if he makes an attempt to play the ball, then it would be a yellow and a penalty. But because he, it, the, the, the foul was deemed to be him playing the man, thus denying mm -hmm. you know, no mm -hmm. attempt made for the ball, then he, you know he directly is viewed to be playing the man. That's a red card. I think for, that's the difference. On yeah, I, think, I don't think that's correct. Absolutely correct. I think it is whether you're play, trying to play the ball or not. I think it's whether you stop a goal-scoring opportunity as makes it a red card. No, 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 no. But what I'm saying to you is, it depends on the way you're stopping a goal-scoring opportunity. If you make an attempt to play the ball, um, but miss it, then. It's still you, a red you can, card. You can, you can you can get a yellow card. No. If you make a, an red, attempt Peter. to play, that's wrong. No, I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, I'm sorry because I've checked it. That's why I deliberately asked yesterday about this. No. If you make an attempt, no, they've changed the rules. That's uh -huh. what I'm saying to you. If you make an attempt to play the ball but miss it and take the man out, 
it's a penalty. It's not necessarily a red card. If you play the man and make no attempt for the ball, uh -huh. then it's a red card. That certainly is a red card. But I've seen I've seen instances. When did they change that? Because I've seen instances whereby it's just the guy's even going for the ball, but he's not got it, and he's he's made contact, and they've given a, a penalty and a red card. Yeah, I've seen the, that. I, well, I'm not, I'm not debating whether you've seen it. Yeah. The first thing that I asked yesterday at Hamden was, what is the ruling on this? Why is he getting a red card? Because at the end of the day. There's a change in the rules now, which mm -hmm. they've changed, which is basically, if you make an attempt to play the ball but miss it, then it's it, it can be a yellow card. Right. If you make an attempt, no attempt to play the ball, but just take the man yes. and deny the goal-scoring opportunity, red card. Okay. And that's clearly what Craig Thompson has viewed Consider, on this, yes. which, is, which for me... I still thought, you know, it was harsh on Motherwell. I really, yeah, uh, that, 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 from a I hate to see players sent over. Well, that's the what I'm game. saying. From a footballing point of view, I, I personally would like to see a player of Scott Sinclair's ability to have the confidence in his own ability to go on and score rather yeah. than take an easy option of the penalty. Because he's got the, that ability to, to oh, go yeah. on and score. Yeah. But he, well, felt, he felt he was justified in going down because yeah. it was contact. We'll talk more after this.